Happy New Year! While the world is waking up from New Year celebrations, Orthodox Christians are gathering in their parishes to celebrate many wonderful events and occasions. Do you know what great feasts we celebrate on January the 1st? That's a tough one. It's the circumcision of Christ. But before we explore this feast, let's talk about a special saint. Saint Basil the Great, who is the patron saint of our bishop. Born around 330 AD under the reign of Constantine the Great, as an unbaptized person, Basil spent 19 years in Athens studying philosophy, rhetoric, astronomy, and other secular disciplines. He was very clever. In his mature years, he was baptized in the Jordan River. He became ultimately Bishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia, and unfortunately died young at the age of 50. He was a great champion of the faith, of moral purity, and a great theological mind. Blessed name day to His Eminence Metropolitan Basilios, we ask you to pray for us as we pray to God that He blesses you always through the intercessions of St. Basil the Great. For many years, Master. So back to the feast. What is it all about? Just as Christians follow church rules, the Jewish people follow Jewish rules or Jewish law. There was a special agreement between God and Abraham. This is called a covenant. God promised Abraham blessings of land, of prosperity, and of many children and descendants. As father, Abraham obeyed God and taught his family and people to follow the rules. This was the law. Saint Mary and Saint Joseph followed the law of God. As father Abraham taught, this rule meant that on the eighth day after baby Jesus was born on Christmas, he was taken to the temple to observe the law and to be circumcised. On the same day, he was also officially given the name Jesus. So, why was Christ's circumcision important? By being circumcised, Christ showed us many things. Firstly, he was truly a real person. God became human in the world, not just spiritual, but flesh. Next, the saints of the church explain that Jesus experienced circumcision to show an example of how faithfully divine rules should be followed. Another important reason is that Christ first built blood for us. The old covenant was no longer enough. No circumcision or sacrifice comes close to the flesh of Jesus offering himself. Now, instead of circumcision, we receive baptism. At baptism, a person simply offers a clipping of hair. This represents the highest part of a person, that is a symbol of strength, is never injured and is always rejuvenated. God first offered Abraham an earthly kingdom, but now he offers the kingdom of heaven. Because there is no earthly offering that matches, Jesus teaches us that we have to circumcise our souls and hearts from sin. The new circumcision is through repentance, confession and obedience. Wow, there are so many lessons to learn, but that's not all. In addition to his circumcision, Christ was given the name Jesus, which means Saviour. Jesus was the name announced to Mary by Archangel Gabriel the name announced by the angel of the Lord to Joseph, spoken of by prophet Isaiah 700 years before Christ, that God would be with us. Let's explore the icon. In the center, Christ is being held and presented by his mother, the Theotokos. Christ looks forward and his feet point towards the altar. He is showing his divine willingness to offer himself. But he also extends his hands towards his mother, showing his reliance as a human child. Saint Joseph the betrothed, observing prayerfully behind the Theotokos, his hands are covered. They are standing underneath a dome with a curtain, indicating their presence inside the great temple, 
there are delicate and beautiful decorations. They stand in front of the sanctuary gates and Christ is held above the center of the table, showing him as the Lamb of God. A high priest of the temple stands in his vestments. His arms are open to receive Christ. He is senior in authority and he stands on the altar. Yet he is bent in veneration to Christ. His eyes are unable to gaze on the child. In his hand he holds a knife of circumcision. Do you know the chant for the feast? Here's Father Philip to teach us how. How human form have you taken on yourself without change? All greatly compassionate Master, though being God by nature, fulfilling the law you willingly receive circumcision in the flesh that you might end the shadow and roll away the veil of our sinful passions. Glory be to your goodness unto us. Glory be to your compassion. Glory, O Word, to your inexpressible condescension from everyone here blessed new year we pray this coming year is one where we shed the sins keeping us from god and salvation may the coming year be blessed